Sasini watu wangu. I hope you people are doing good. Personally, I'm doing fine. God has been faithful to me. He has been doing amazing things on my side. And you are in my prayers day and night. And I know he is doing a ridiculous work to your side too. So previously, I made a video about our sister who is in Gulf. Who was dating a guy in Kenya. And I think you know the story. You people, I'm here to appreciate you. You received it well. On the comment section, you did an amazing job. She went through the comments and she came back to me telling me like, Lillian, thank you, you have saved me. And at least now I have a decision and my heart has peace. And that is all we need. We can rejoice for that and give glory and honor to God because he has done it. The only thing we need is to create impact to our people and save the, some souls also there. That is the help we can give. And on top of that, I have something little to add. You know, in this world, now in this generation of ours, we are we are living like prisoners. Tunaishi maisha ya watu. We are not living our life. Like we do things to impress our neighbors, impress our parents, but we don't look on our side. We don't we don't consider our happiness, peace, and our future. We don't. Like now you can enter in love because like no, no, like my age has gone too fast. Na majirani zangu wanda sema nini. Nikienda nyumbani ma aunties they are like. Uyu kijana wa fulani ya jawa. Msichana wa fulani ya jawa lewa haja za. Haja fanya kitu fulani. So those, those words they push you into the tomb that you, you, you aren't to enter. Yani unajipata umianguka mikono ambayo itakutesa maisha yako yote. But what what does the Bible tells me? In the book of Isaiah 60:22, it tells me like when the right time comes, I the Lord, I'll make it happen. My sister, my brother, not that God doesn't see you that umifika eji flani and you need a family. Not that God doesn't see your situation. See you kama haski maumbi yako. Can you ask yourself, no umezipa hayo maisha ni umeishi ni wewe unazipa hewa unapumua you are not the one like remember the one thing that god has done has ever done to you i know kila mtu amekuwa in a strict situation and god came through on that situation na akakusaidia ukatoka kutoka kwa hiyo situation the same god who did it that last time is the same god who will do it who will make it happen in your situation so stop rushing and entering in, into our relationships that will cost your peace will cost your happiness will cost the rest of your life like utashinda ukilia let's remain patient and wait for god's timing he will Will make it happen the same God who was there for our forefathers is the same God who will be there today tomorrow and forever and he will work on your on your case please my people let us trust God